Hi, this is Luis Gomez, and I graduated from Hoffman State High School. If I had to list the most influential people in my life, they'd have to be my mother, Rob Karras, Tom Hill, Bob Fisk, Brad Johnson, and Brady Sarton. For my mother, I learned what it means to truly be an adult and a parent. To be an adult, you gotta be able to take whatever life throws at you and roll with the punches. And to be a parent, you gotta be able to do all that and at the end of the day, still have patience for your annoying child. <laughs> from Rob Karras and from the rest of the men on this list, I learned what it truly means to be a father. But from Rob specifically, I learned what it means to be kind to others, regardless of who they are or how they come into your life, to always greet them with kindness. From Tom Hill, I learned what it means to care about the younger generation. I know me and the rest of you can be pretty annoying sometimes, but Tom still sticks around. I know that that's because he genuinely cares about us and wants to see us grow as Christians. From Bob Fisk, I learned what it means to grow old with Christ. I learned what it means to grow older and still hold Christ close to your heart. From Brad Johnson, I learned the importance of fellowship. I learned how important it is to either have somebody or to be the person, or both, that goes up to you and says, Hi, how you doing? How's your spiritual life going? And Brad, if you're there, I want you to know that I do want to meet up with you on a Saturday. My phone fell in the washer and that's why I haven't called you. From Brady Sarton, I learned what it means to be an individual. I learned what it means to be your own person. And that's also a form of leadership. And also how to fish. I learned that to be a leader, you don't have to be loud and proud or just everywhere. You can do your own thing as long as you get the job done. And of course, you're nice to others. You can be a leader. From Brady, I learned that because no matter what he's up to, or no matter how much he tells me of what he's up to, I always want to know what it is. I always want to hear more. And that's something that I'd love to be able to emulate later on in life. To all the people that I've listed, thank you. You've taught me a lot and have influenced my life greatly. And I hope to still be able to talk to you when I grow older. So for some words I want to share with the congregation, um, first off, this is to youth group. And yes, I'm about to use my Senior Sunday presentation speech to call you guys out. You guys need to start going to more youth group things. Now, I know what you're thinking. You know what? He hasn't been to youth group things in a bit. All right, I know. I haven't exactly been the best example these past couple weeks. But from the past five years I've been here, I've gone to a lot of youth group things. And the most I've gotten out of this church has been through youth group things. You, know, we need, you guys need to start going to more of them. And you guys need to start interacting with the rest of the congregation more. And don't just stand there. I, yeah, it's, I guess it's kind of cool you guys stand there in a circle after class and talk and get, catch up. But you also need to interact with the rest of the church. Um, and to the rest of the church, you guys need to interact more with the youth group. When I get back from college, I definitely want to see us all talking more. I feel like there's so much we can all learn from each other. Youth group from the congregation, congregation from the youth group. And you guys never know. We could all bond over something and have stuff to do together. I want to see more of that because I know there's so much we could all learn from each other. And I feel like it could do so much good for everyone. Because, like I said, I've interacted with plenty of people in, these church, in this church. Like I've listed before. I've learned so much from them. And I want that for everyone else here. And to the rest of the congregation, don't be afraid to interact with the youth group. Yeah, and you're not going to hit a home run with every youth group member, but try it. You never know. You could build a bond that you never thought you could have. For my college plans, I plan to go to NIU. And I plan to major in electrical slash biomedical engineering. I, uh, for my master's, I plan to get in preaching because right now the goal is to become a preacher with uh, my undergrad as something else just in case I can't find a job or I want some extra money. If I were to not do that for some reason, I'd get my master's in prosthetics and become a prosthetist, but that's just plan like B. Don't worry. But uh, yeah, that's my plan. For some last words, uh, I definitely want to say thank you to everyone at this church. You guys have taught me so much. You guys have taught me what it means to care about others. You guys have taught me leadership, what it means to be parents, what it means to be people in the society as Christians, because that's definitely not easy. I've learned so much from everyone here, and I just want to say a giant thank you, because I remember my first day in here, I was terrified, yet I was, and I was super afraid of just everybody, but I was welcomed in with open arms, and I'm so glad I came in that Sunday. It's taught me so much, and I don't know what I'd do about this church. <laughs>